tangled up in the roots of this one. We get turtles here, and uh, these turtles are already pretty sick. And uh, the plastic doesn't really help. There's so many more, so much plastic, so much trash. It's never gonna end. When I'm diving, I feel like it's another world. We don't know most of the ocean, and I think that's just incredible. It's amazing. It's really interesting and scary. All the things that might be down there. It's my home. It feels like home. like a safe place, like nothing bad is going to happen there. I started seeing more trash. And it makes me extremely mad. I'm 14 years old, and I live in a beautiful island, Curaçao, that's part of the Netherlands Econon Craig, together with my mother. My first experience was because of my mom. I was 10. I was really excited. I was really, really excited for that first dive. Putting up my gear. And I just couldn't stop smiling. I was so happy. <laughs> Maybe in my past lives or something. I was probably a fish or something like that. We got a nap yesterday that there was a turtle here in Lagoon and someone came and try to catch it and they weren't successful. So now that we're here, we're gonna go for it. Try to find it and help the turtle. This is the rescue kit. It has everything that we need. These are the rescue um, vests. So people know what we're doing and recognize that, that we're not just random people catching a turtle. This is to weigh the turtle, this is to measure the turtle. Many times, fishermen go out there, do their jobs, and a turtle comes in between. It's illegal to catch turtles. 
So they picked the turtle up and got the line or just let the line go. Sometimes hours of swimming, trying to catch it. Some of them are really fast. Sometimes people think that um, we're doing something wrong or anything or stuff like that and uh, they just intervene and uh, it's kind of good so it means they care but uh, it's not very helpful for us. <laughs> started to realize and how everything is connected. All the wildfires, plastic pollution, climate change, and excessive seaweed. But the turtles got caught. Sometimes it gets like really, really heavy and it's like, I can't even think, right? It's really, really hard. But uh, at least I have the opportunity to do something and help out. I don't know how many turtles I've saved. A lot, really a lot. My friends think it's really nice that I do this, but they don't really help me out with this. It's just a very thing I do for myself. It's more a me thing. When I look, I think of five years from now, it looks blurry, honestly. We are the ones that are gonna have to deal with it. We are the ones that have to work it out. Beaucoup de gens jettent les déchets plastiques dans la rivière. Du coup, la rivière devient de plus en plus sale. Ensuite, les poissons mangent ces déchets toxiques et sont les rendent malades. In our backyard, what used to be a freshwater stream is now a smelly sewage containing water body that is harmful to both humans and wildlife. That the ocean. It's the most polluted thing. And this is not a good thing because there are fish and that makes them die. Like plastic makes them die. It's all chemicals. I always try to stay positive, but it's really hard. It's really, really hard. Once you really care about it, you just know that this is not even half of what there's out there.
Goedemorgen, je luistert naar Paradise FM, het geluid van Curaçao. En vandaag is de dag waar heel veel mensen naar uit hebben gekeken. World Cleanup Day. Dit nummer is speciaal voor iedereen die boven water, onder water, in de bosjes aan de slag gaat om het eiland Curaçao een stukje mooier te maken. Limpiabo, Dimodi en Manasa, hoor je nu. We're going to make a body teams of four. I started to realize how more people are also noticing the importance on all of this. It's really sad to know that I can't do much, that it's what I am able to do with just a little bit of what might help, but I mean, at least it's something. What I'm doing now, it's pretty big, yeah? But I feel like I could be doing more, so much more. I would like to not help only turtles, but all the rest of the ocean. This is our home. We have to do something. It's like a messy house. Nobody likes a messy house. It's the same with the earth. We live here and we have to take care of it, of everything, of forests to oceans to lakes to the little smallest creature. Everybody is important. Everybody matters. 